amazing. <laughs> Good morning guys. We went out last night and walked around, saw the red light district. Really fun. Then we just like went to a bar after the canal cruise. I didn't drink anything else because we had like free wine on board. So the plan for today is we have 9 until 12.30 to explore Amsterdam. And then we have a drive to the Rhine Valley. I believe it's about a four hour drive. And then um, Munich tomorrow. Should be super fun. Very excited about that. I just wanted to say good morning. Hello. Breakfast starts at 7.15. It's like 7.30 right now. And then we have to have our bags down at the coach uh, at 8.15 to leave. So I'm going to go have some breakfast. Yeah. Mega statement making. early like seven something in the morning but i didn't go to bed until three o'clock last night because it was Oktoberfest first night opening night which is so fun honestly it was such a happy accident and just like such a cool thing that we got to be here for that we didn't know nor did we plan for 
and it was just so fun like people went on rides we drank beer um we drank Rid riddlers which is like half lemonade half beer which is what i had and it was just so fun. we're staying at the wombats one of the wombats there's multiple because we went to the wrong one last night when we were trying to get back to the hostel honestly i had so much fun like i cannot even express how good of a time it was and i'm so glad that we were able to go even though i didn't see a lot of the rest of munich like oktoberfest itself was worth it and i have gotten to see other parts of germany and so i don't feel like i really like missed out i think there's definitely like cool things in the city that i didn't get to see but i feel really happy about what we accomplished here but the thing about kentucky is that you're always really like, really really on the go even though we had like a really late night last night we have white water rafting in austria this morning so we're crossing over to a new country this morning which is very very exciting i've never been to any of the places on this trip besides london so it's a new one for me as well i'm in a hurry we're supposed to be down in the bus in like 15 minutes i think and i still need to like zip up my suitcase and take my sheets down to the lobby which i've never had to do for a hostel before but we do probably because there's so many of us there's like 42 46 on the trip i think today is austria we do white water rafting and then i think we do paragliding today too and then we have a tight white and bright party tonight i'm gonna wear like a bright orange um outfit and welcome to another day on the road i've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall future sarah popping in to say a couple of things first of all i hope you're enjoying the video and the european travel series second i did not get a single clip of in austria we were only there for like one complete day and we had white water rafting in the morning and then paragliding in the afternoon i just wanted to mention a couple of things these are both add-on activities and they were right in a row the same day white water rafting is in this town on the way to our special stay in austria and it was unbelievably beautiful it's in a glacial runoff river and our guide was amazing and the whitewater rafting experience was unreal i cannot recommend it enough i will say that the whitewater rafting i believe was 55 euros and then the paragliding was 60 i'll double check and put the info here but i highly recommend both activities if you are an adrenaline person or just love like extreme sport kind of things like that the whitewater rafting didn't wasn't that scary and it was an incredible experience i'll put all the photos here which this was an additional charge for these photos between like the group on the actual raft ended up being like six to seven euros each such a fun activity i loved it and then also with the paragliding amazing i felt totally safe i have been skydiving before and paragliding was like a peaceful skydiving experience i'll say you just run off the mountain uh you can kind of see the cliffside right here where we ran off of it's like this big hill you run down and then you keep running off the mountain and not one part of this was scary to me the guide really talked me through it and made me feel so much better they have a lot of safety precautions and procedures there it's you know if you're gonna do it somewhere i felt very safe doing it here in austria and the views of the countryside towns down below are unbelievable and it was just very peaceful um my guide was great he has done many many jumps and he made me feel safe he answered all my questions and it was unbelievable doing it like it was just floating through the air and at one point he was like do you want to do some tricks and i was like heck yeah i do so we kind of like i got to steer it a little bit and he did some things where we kind of excuse me sir um kind of went like this with the the parachute which was super fun i cannot recommend it enough it was definitely like whitewater rafting and paragliding i think were like the two highlights of the trip for me so i would encourage you to do that if you're able wanting to all that kind of stuff and plan accordingly
welcome to Interlaken, Switzerland. I'm getting ready right now to go on a train and we're gonna go up to a viewpoint, me and another girl on the Kentucky. This is the hostel that we're at right now in Interlaken, hang on. But guys, check this freaking view. Check this out, are we kidding? Walking shoes are an absolute must and sunscreen because you're closer to the sun here. Honestly, these views just never get old though, let me tell you. Um, anyways, I'm going to grab my sweatshirt and then head down to the lobby and meet Emily and we're going to hit the road, Jack. Guys, I think this is I think this is the opposite of what we should be doing. Yeah, I know it's not gonna go away now. Stop beeping. Did you want to guys imagine we leave any of that? Everybody needs some time to figure themselves out. But I want you close and I still have to get it. No, no, Jack needs for my boy. No worries, Prost, 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 Mate, I'm like Prost. That is called jet d'eau, uh, literally translating to water jet. It is one of the tallest fountains in the world, not only in Switzerland, but in the world. Uh, and this was built in 1886 uh, for the purpose of controlling the Guys, welcome to Kentucky Chateau in Bordeaux, France, in the wine region. We just arrived and this place is insane. I'm going to show you pictures and videos because it's so beautiful. If you're looking at doing a Kentucky and this is an option, like it's insane. The rooms are really nice. It's just honestly amazing. I'm so excited to spend the night here. It's 4 p.m. right now. We have a wine tasting at 7, dinner at 7.30 and then a party at 9 or 9.30 and then we have yoga in the morning. There's a swimming pool. It's like so gorgeous and I'm so happy to be here. It feels so good. Um, we only have a few days left in our trip which is so sad we go to paris for two nights tomorrow and then we end off in london the following day so the trip is really coming to a close and it's making me really sad i've made some really incredible friends on this trip that are going to be lifelong friends and so anyways i just got changed and i'm going to go see what everyone's up to so let's go back to my place if it's only for tonight let's make it Good morning guys, we are waking up in France today and it feels so good, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Um, I just went out and took some photos of the grounds, I'll put them in here, it's just absolutely insane, it's so beautiful. We had a pee party last night so everyone dressed up as like something with starting with the letter P, like people came as like 
pregnant poncho um our driver paolo princesses princes like all that kind of stuff i went in my pajamas so so fun i'm very very excited for paris obviously it's also the rugby world cup so there's been a lot of things that have fallen onto our trip that are like not intended like oktoberfest and um the rugby world cup so i've also been just like living in the moment because it's been the most fun trip ever like it's just been so good i'm so sad that it's almost done i have to pack my suitcase and then breakfast starts in about eight minutes and then we leave in an hour so um gotta get going but i will bring you guys along Welcome to Perry. I'm on my own right now, which is so nice to just have a little like time to explore the things that I want to see without having to like make big group decisions. But I love everyone that like I've made friends with on this tour so 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 much. Everyone's really tired. We had a late night last night. I'm definitely feeling it, but I'm trying to keep continuing to explore because how often are you in Paris? So let's go in, and I'm just so happy to be showing you guys the city. It's so beautiful like it it took me by surprise obviously paris is known for being beautiful but i i love it so much more than i thought that i would so let's go so this might be one of the coolest backdrops i've ever had in a video it's nice like i'm just sitting enjoying people watching and I'm in such a beautiful location that it's just nice to like sit on this bench. I'm just sitting here with my coffee and my bags resting my feet because my poor feet have done so much walking. But everything is so beautiful. It's just perfect. So I've been wanting to chit chat to you guys a lot more than I have been. But it's just hard with like a big group of people. I cannot wait to post all the photos. And like it's so cool just making friends all over the world truly. Like some of my favorite people I've met on the trip are from Australia. So now I'm like oh my gosh I need to plan an Australia trip. And it's just been so good. Like it just... I don't know. This time like I feel very at peace. And I don't know if that makes sense because... Even during the most stressful parts of this trip, they felt like right. And I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. I don't know, it just like feels really good and right. And the people that I've met have been so incredible and amazing. And I'm so thankful for that. Like truly part of, my favorite part of traveling is the people, like I feel like people make or break the location and experience for you. And I've been so lucky to meet people that just have exceeded all expectations i have solo travel is you know not always the easiest and it can feel lonely at times but there hasn't been a single moment on this trip that i felt lonely so i'm really thankful for that and all the incredible people that i have been able to spend my time with and who have spent their time with me in locations like this it's really just something so incredibly special and paris has taken me by surprise you, know, you sometimes don't know what you're gonna get in a city that's so hyped up and so far it's like exceeded all my expectations it really feels i see why people think it's like such a romantic beautiful city because it feels that way i'm actually looking at a couple right now who are taking their wedding photos which is so cute but anyways i'm gonna walk over to notre dame um i will insert photos from the louvre we didn't go inside um we just only have one full day here and so we have like a farewell dinner tonight it's the last night of our kentucky and it's been super fun taking photos with everyone and all that but the eiffel tower was so special okay it's a 15 minute walk to notre dame right now and that's where i'm heading to and then leaving from that train station to get back to the hostel for our dinner tonight. Look what's behind me! The best ever. It's so beautiful. 
Also, just wanted to end off the video. I never officially wrapped everything up, but I wanted to live in the moment, which I very much did on this trip. And I hope that I showed you guys enough to get the feel of the European Horizon trip. I loved it, could not recommend it enough. I think all the stops are incredible. I can't wait to go back to Paris. I can't wait to go back to Austria. I wanna go back to Germany. Um, Oktoberfest was unbelievable. Everything lined up beautifully. And the group itself was unbelievable to have that many amazing people in one spot i loved my trip so much and i also made an entire kentucky video which is going to be out next so don't forget to like comment subscribe down below if you want all the dirty deeds on kentucky i break down like the cost how much i paid for the trip um talk about accommodations more i talk about the setup of the trip um whether i thought it was worth it or not like all of that kind of stuff i have in the next video so don't forget to like comment subscribe uh, i do also have a couple more videos in my european series i have the kentucky review video coming out next and then after after that I have an entire video that's all about Harry Potter studio tour in London which is incredible and I have my arrows video coming out after that so if you guys happen to click on this video because you saw that it was a Kentucky I did do a bunch of solo travel before this trip and I have a London vlog at Brussels Belgium, uh, Cologne, Germany, and Crefield, and Amsterdam before this. So I'll, I'll, everything's linked down below in the description, and you've probably seen it up in the cards during this video as well. But I'm going to stop talking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!